hi all welcome in next video okay so in this video we are going to learn like how we can implement autocomplete text box in MVC using a jquery okay so it's going to be a video for the MVC MVC development okay so if you are going to implement or you're facing any issue so you can like watch this video for like a trick for like understanding the steps and process how you can implement the autocomplete text box okay so what we are going to learn in this video so firstly we are going to uh, learn what are the prerequisite for the autocomplete text box binding list of data okay with the text box filtering record we are like we have a two different uh, mechanism first whether we can actually three we have a three different mechanism either we can use the sp or database for filtering the data we can use the like link queue for filtering the data from server side or we can use the jquery okay and the fourth we are going to learn like how to populate the text box after entering the text So definitely it's going to be a new implementation so we will be creating one different uh, new model one separate view okay and either we can also clean, uh, create a separate controller but that is actually not required so if we wanted to implement just uh, autocomplete text box so we can uh, either create a parcel view or a separate view and we also use the in like existing controller one and we need to definitely create one model we need to have one uh, jquery file and we need to have one css HTML means styling sheet okay so let's go ahead so after implementation the like development developed uh, text box will look like this like we will be putting some uh, name some character and it will auto populating the uh, list of the items okay like if we have uh, noida if we are putting n okay so noida will auto populating automatically okay so this can be implemented in two way like uh, some in some of the development like uh, uh, client asks to implement the auto complete text box which is containing the character or in some cases client tell us to create the uh, text box which which starts with that character so you if you see here the noida and new delhi both are starting with n okay so either here like developer use the mechanism for start with like the character developer is putting that should be uh, matching with the string which are con not only containing but that strings are starting with that character okay okay so we can use a model so we have simply using the model so we will be keeping two value id and name and this will this way we will be like uh, it, uh, creating one uh, action method in uh, controllers for like filtering the data okay so this is going to be action method in a controller for filtering the data and in a jquery we will be required one ajax call to call that uh, method for filtering the data and returning the list okay and this is obviously going to be uh, going to be a css html page or you can say view which will be containing one uh, text box or we can also use our editor for okay so we will be using this control and the further okay so here uh, here i put the code for uh, filtering the data if you see the previous one uh, controller method code so yeah see here the below this one okay so the below code is the where name is equals to uh, here i'm using a link queue and filtering the data using a link queue only okay so like in some cases if we don't want to filter the data from server side so what we can use we can filter the data using this this code here we are uh, filtering the data using a jquery like you can see uh, the dollar dot ui dot autocomplete dot filter and this filter will takes as a list uh, a data is a list 
and uh, the character or the string which needs to be uh, the list needs to be filtered from okay so this is the jquery code and the, these are the reference which we are like used for developing like you will be getting a support from this references if you implementing the mechanism okay <clears throat> okay so so if i tell you okay so we have one uh, test mvc application and we have one crm s mvc application okay so basically what i do if you are following my video you would be uh, knowing it very well uh, whenever i'm going to uh, show the new functionality firstly i try to implement that functionality in my in my test application okay when it uh, properly start running and so that like the we can save the time like if we are implementing all the things up front it will take a lot of time okay so that's why i just uh, find out the dependencies find out the implementations and what are the things needed for uh, implementing that uh, scenario or that mechanism i filter out those things and i like show you in the crms uh, mvc application okay so first i create the thing in the test application and then i show that same implementation in crms application okay so if you see here uh, these are the changes we, we i did for this so see here i added one styling sheet i added uh, this control was already there so i added one model i added one script file okay this is the script file which is actually nothing but just control uh, containing a one ajax call okay and what more uh, this is the view i added and this was the layout i made uh, did some changes in this layout okay so let's say start implementing okay so what will uh, firstly we will require so let's firstly uh, create one uh, model city details okay so this model will be containing id and name okay so whenever we are filtering so actually we are going to create one uh, text box which will be filtering the city okay so this city will be having um, one id unique id and one unique name okay so uh, name could be a, uh, similar but i i don't know like whether it could be a same name um, uh, for the different cities uh, but uh, we will be preferring to uh, make a unique id only okay so if you see here in this model so see the okay so see here the like one id property is here and one name property is here okay so let's go ahead and implement this model first in crms and we say let me firstly run it and show you how it looks like so uh, I think my internet connection is lost. I don't know why this is not connecting. Let me connect to get my personal output. okay okay see here this page uh, i did not make the changes in the ui okay so it looks like the same whatever the implementation i am doing so i am just implementing the things here and creating a new view so that i can show you so if you earlier have watched the mvc video so you have seen the user details create users delete users functionality user details is actually containing a full featured uh, data table okay so that you can see that is the like good video with all the controls we implemented one data table so here i uh, added one more uh, tab c 
city details okay so in this tab i added one text box if you go here see this is the text box okay so in this text box i implemented the functionality like if i put, put a so see all the dependent city names are coming here okay so like a n n i'm putting okay and so see ranchi bangalore and so this uh, we need to implement okay so currently uh, i i know it, this container is not looking a prettier as you think okay so that you can uh, like uh, do the changes okay uh, this container is using a ui uh, hyphen autocomplete class so in that class whatever the changes you will be putting uh, the width the height the appearance the focus so that will automatically um, get reflected here okay so like if you form control class it is using okay so what about the features we are using inside the form control that you can use here also in this controller and it will look alike uh, this text box okay so that is not a concern point here 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 we are going to uh, implement uh, auto complete text box okay so that i implemented here if you need a uh, support for uh, making this more enhanced more prettier more good looking so that i can also do i can create the prettier one container and i can give you for for this okay so just let me know in a comment i will do that no issue okay but just for the time saving i just have created one um, auto complete text box and and sitting front you for explaining the text okay so let's go ahead and create that okay so this was the test mvc application let's move to uh, crms mvc web okay so let me close all this firstly close all this okay okay so what firstly we need to do firstly i'm going to add one uh, model which will be containing id and total changes here let me see if it is not required i will remove that total changes okay let me check i think i tried something and i did not completed that part okay okay forget it we will create new one okay so just leave this thing deleting this one and what are the changes here let me see this also get out okay yeah i was so me it means i was trying something and that was in between and i deleted that and that is still pending here okay so firstly let me run this okay so that makes sure it is running properly Okay. Okay. Sometime it happens, so I'm telling you the solution. What you can do this. Look for this. Okay. So I faced this issue multiple times when I'm uh, like working in the development. So what happens like continuously we are running debugging running debugging sometimes the app pool or sometimes uh, the v vd means virtual directory get stuck okay so we don't get the uh, 
page loaded quickly and sometimes the port is busy so it continuously showing the loading so what can you do to come out this problem like you can kill the all the chrome sessions okay so for that you just go in a chrome and search like how to kill the chrome sessions and you will get one command just put that command in cmd and hit that so whatever the chrome sessions are alive and what are the port numbers are busy in a chrome that will get released and your application will start running properly okay so see here currently three tabs are there okay so and the application is running so we can go ahead and start implementing the thing okay okay so here msm is this one is over there and this one is the test step okay so what the class we need to create city details okay so let's create one class go to the solution right click add new class add this is taking a little bit longer class no so we, here we cannot add that okay we have a separate view we have a separate controllers so we have a model we have a these are models so list so we need to create one model so for creating the model we are creating the class and what are the class what is the class name is city details okay so control the city details add okay the class is created now let me put the dependent id So what we need a ID and ID and name. Okay. So let's put the ID and name. Okay. This is going red because we need an annotation difference. So let me add one uh, difference for annotation data annotation. It will have to be okay. So, so basically, this uh, name uh, is useful when you are creating one label along with this property. Okay, so whenever you were creating a label for you are using a label for control and you are using the this uh, property name, it will automatically take this name. Okay, so I use that label that's why I put the display name for here okay so this is now created and now next we need to create one view so what the view name we kept there we will keep that name okay as it is so the view name i took is uh, this is the model added uh, script also we will be adding okay so the view name we kept is not user detail it's inside the home auto complete city html this one okay this is the view we created auto complete city dot cs html so let's go and create one view inside the home controller okay so this is the view folder this is the controller folder inside this add new view and we see five so what the name we was the auto complete city okay this was the name okay right let's see again auto complete city you can give the different name but i'm just following the approach okay so auto complete city view is creating Okay, so the view has been created. Okay, auto complete city. So the name we can put out it from here. We can put the character. Here. Okay, and auto complete city. So what we need to further uh, for loading this view, we can put this uh, view detail in shared layout so that it can be visible in page. 
in header okay so in the shared folder we have a layout.cshtml and we are showing currently this much of this much of uh, list adding one more here in header so what the name is index is the method okay so before adding here we need to create one method inside the controller so that the view can be loaded properly okay because whenever we are like calling any method here in url extent so that method firstly gets uh, like this control trying to find that method inside the controller okay so what the method we used for autocomplete let me uh, take that method first okay so let's go to the home controller and what the method i created for that for autocomplete cd okay so let me take it so it is simple method you can see here nothing it's just returning a view okay so let's go to the home controller controller home controller and let me put that method autocomplete cd okay in this method we will be returning from layout let me now copy it control c put here control v and the controller will be home the method is going to be okay. and the method is going to be autocomplete city okay so put that method autocomplete city okay so the method name is here and the controller name is control c put home home okay and uh, what the name you want to display is a text so we can put here auto complete city auto complete city okay now this one is created so whenever we are like hitting no 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 i think uh, the name will get it will display longer so city detail we can put that okay city i think the same i put there city detail okay control s city detail will get displayed in a header when we will be clicking on that home controller will get call inside the home controller this auto complete method will get call okay so let's run and try to see the impact It is taking a little bit longer time. Yeah, see, see, CT detail uh, type is here now. Okay, so we are clicking here. So this our auto complete page is getting open. This method is getting called, and this page is getting open now. Okay, this is actually nothing but a header we added in that new page. In this page you can see auto complete is too. I'm tagging this. That is a detail that this is not allowed. Home controller is required. Okay. So now this one is added. Okay. So what further we need to do? Um, we need to create one uh, script file. We need to create. Uh, I think CSS is not required uh, because we did not going to add any changes in the container. Okay. The CSS is not required, but at least we require the CSS references. Okay, basic references for CSS and jQuery be required. Okay, like jQuery version 3.4 something and min.min.js. So let's add that them first. So where is the CSS HTML page? So if you see here, so we had I had created one uh, styling sheet, but later I commented out that and this is not required 
so if you see this this script file i have created so i will create that script file as well and uh, if you see this is the look uh, basic reference okay all are the just basic reference okay so let me take the reference as it is Okay, so this is styling is documented for me or not required. So this is the basic uh, CSS reference and all are the basic uh, script references and this one control drop script we need to create inside the views folder. So we will be creating this script file soon. Okay, so let's go here and script inside the script we have a views folder. So inside views we need to create one script file. So add here is the image script, add new item, click on web javascript file, okay. Control B control script.js okay added new JS file. So this JS file is added. Again, this okay. So basically, what we will be doing, we can also do this uh, implementation in just a script tag, okay. But if that is not a good approach, if we are saying okay, we should always keep our script, our styling things separate out from the HTML file, okay. So that's why I created the separate script file here. So now the reference is added. Uh, what we need to do further. We need to add uh, this. This is basically the text box. Okay. This is the text box, and uh, I also added a validation assembly. In case of submit, it will be giving us the error. Okay, but I did not added any uh, submit button here. Okay, you can add that. Not an issue, but uh, that is not required. We just need to do. Uh, uh, text completion we need to see the text completion okay so that that is not required so we will be keeping this uh, html code and let me put here cs html okay so see here model is giving error because we did not put the model reference so let me add the model difference also we need a model difference at the top so city details dot ts okay the name is not so what is the name crms in vca okay CRMSMVCF dot models dot city okay yes so now let me build it firstly okay because the files are not showing it correctly Okay, see the we remove this and not the model. dot it's not auto populating currently I think the build is not properly
models dot ct details okay and uh, control file is also added here yes. okay the problem is here okay this is crms CRMDCF dot models dot CT written. Okay, now model should work properly. See this is the The name should come here. So it's not a bad like sometimes in MVC it's showing a uh, under the line, but that is not a error. Okay, that's not a build error. This is not defined or imported. Let me build it whether it is building properly. It's a building, so it's not an issue. Okay, let me run. After I think of running once, it will be showing properly. Okay, so let me put one debugger in the controller so that we can see whether. Or we can cancel it. Controller here. So we have this controller class. This this class will get called, and it will return a view. Now let's run it. Okay. So when I click on CT detail, the control is going to this debugger. Now let's continue and see the CT name and the text box is coming. Okay, so now the text box is coming, and now we need what we need to do. We need to add uh, uh, Ajax call in the script file, okay, in autocomplete extension method. So what happening like whenever we were putting any text here, and if we have implemented autocomplete extension method, and whatever the Ajax call be implemented inside that, that Ajax call will get initiated, and whatever the filter data we will be getting as an output that will be getting visual here, okay. So let's go and run it so this is implemented so no need to put the debugger here control script file is also there so let me go to the test mdc what the eject call we put to control script there so let me tell you what i did here this is not required this is just a variable declaration so that is not this is the document dot ready call okay so this ajax call is basically required so either we can put this ajax call inside the document dot ready or inside the document dot ready we can create one init method and inside the init method we can put because this uh, all is going to be called like whenever we are like loading our page okay so let me take it and let me put this here in control script so if any variable is required that variable we can put above all the above but no variable is required here okay so i'm keeping away that variable so the name the name is the id okay so if you go here and see in the cs html for this so you can see the id is the name okay so the name i used here in script and the autocomplete method extension method and it will be calling this uh, ajax call get city details okay get city details is an action method okay so inside the get city details we will be reading the data and whatever the appropriate data is we will be returning that and the return data will come here and we will be binding uh, return data name and the value property 
with the like appropriate value like if we wanted to bind the name with item and the value with the id so we can bind that i but i just binded the uh, name only okay so that we can bind here okay like sometimes we may have a different requirement like uh, we need to um, select the id while we are selecting the uh, items okay so item name should um, will get displayed uh, on the front like whatever we selected so the city will populate it in the text box but whenever the value we will be reading the value will come as a id okay so that we can do that okay and this commented code is for filtering uh, if we are not filtering the data from a server side we can filter the data in a jquery side also so that's why we put this code so i will be showing that one also okay so rather than returning the data just uh, reading the data and mapping the data with label and value um, we will be filter that data firstly and then we will be binding the data with uh, label and value okay so this ajax call is here and we need to now put this get city details method okay so let me take that also uh, from controllers so if you see this is the method get city details i'll tell you what i did here in this method so this was the uh, method for returning the view and this is the method for returning the filtered data so we need to add the difference for this okay this has been added so get city details method is here so approximately 28 29 uh, items i have added here yeah, this item uh, like could be 100 150 500 600 so don't worry it the like application uh, the control will be have as it is like it will not slow down for 500 and 600 data i use that i am filtering out almost um, 37000 records okay but after filtering like putting some characters i am getting around 3000 to 2000 to, to uh, 3000 records um, but for filtering for single character it was difficult so i am containing like two characters condition like when user is putting two condi uh, two characters then only this call will get initiated and filtering out the data so like after putting two characters the data will get filtered and we get around uh, 2000 records and we are displaying those records and it is working as it is okay so for that what i did uh, i put the scroll bars in the containers like the list is populating below so if we are like creating 2000 and 1500 records so the list gets uh, a longer a little bit longer so for making that thing uh, more suitable and comfortable for that control i put there the scroll bar so that you can also uh, uh, that you can put the property overflow okay overflow property will allow you to create one scroll bar for that controller okay so ui dot auto complete class is being implemented there for that controller so you can put the uh, overflow x and the maximum height for that um, container and it will be showing you the proper scroll bar okay so that is a styling part i'm just showing here you for auto completion i'll tell you like how you can like do that i have no issue for that so she is uh, so this is the method okay so firstly we are creating this object for that like we instantiated the model and we are putting the values for this so we are putting id and name and here we used a uh, link queue query for filtering the name so see here what i am doing i am checking containing like if a is containing the name or a is containing that lower or upper type of name so that na name we need to consider here and we need to send that data okay so let me filter out the and what prefix is there like whatever the um, character we are putting in the text box that character will come here as an input like if i put sh okay so sh will come here as an input and this condition will be verifying whether the character like name is containing sh or not so whatever the name is containing sh that will be filtering out and will be returning as an json response okay 
so let me run it and show you oh it will not be working i think uh, let me tell you why it will not work and the further issue we will be getting little bit longer but let me tell you the okay let's see so if i'm clicking here so the page will get open but it will not be returning this if i open the f12 i see no i don't know Should not work, but let me slowly. Okay, it is throwing error. It's call is not completing because I tell you the reach and control P. Uh, this control is script of JS. Okay. So if you see, if you see here, now, see the URL I put here is the test MVC application URL. Okay, so that we need to update that. Okay, then only it will be uh, calling this controller method, and we will be getting the response. Okay, so let me update this firstly. This is the JS update, okay? So we can do it from time no issue. Control B. So now the local host here when we see a form and get CT details. So this is now local, okay? So now we can run this. So if we are directly reloading this one, I don't think. Yeah, it gets it got updated here. Okay, but sometime uh, like if we have a huge JSON J J jQuery code, na, so it no, it will not automatically reflecting here just by reloading this page. So what we need to do, right click here, empty cache and hard reload. Okay, so once we uh, we do that, now so whatever the caching here is applied, like whatever the JSON is saving this browser, that will be cleared and the new file will get added. So in that case, whatever the changes we made in the JS file will automatically get loaded here. Okay. So now this is here. Let me put character A. So the call is and here. Okay. So if I see the response. So continue. Do you see the name? So what we we get? all the uh, characters which are containing the A now that will be coming here. Okay, so we are removing this and continue. Okay, and we need to see here the response. Also, whether the call is properly heading or not. A, we see the Ajax call is going means the Ajax is getting called. Okay, so I need to check this for the data. Continue, and this is coming. Let me continue, and again the Ajax is coming. Who is the continue? Function F10. Okay. the name is coming <coughs> if I'm putting s similar is coming okay if I'm putting a all the name cities which are containing the age coming okay and these are the same city which we are uh, prepared here in our this 
so there should be a if we want to validate it so let me see Ranchi Ranchi should be there okay Patna Ranchi Kolkata should be there so Patna Ranchi and Kolkata I'm removing this putting again so see Ranchi is here Patna is here Kolkata is here means the whatever we are doing now we are getting the right string here okay so the important part here is this script this auto complete extension method for the text box or for editor for control okay so when we will be implementing this auto complete extension and we are doing the ajax call so whatever the data we are getting in a response like here okay so that data we need to map with the label and value for this auto complete okay so what basically this auto complete added one container below of the text box and the label will be displaying the name of the uh, items di getting displayed and the value are going to be the value that is going to be assigned with, the, in, in, with that item okay so this whole thing is totally responsible with this auto complete control auto complete extension method okay and this part is basically for filtering i as i told you earlier okay so what i am doing here like if you see this is the variable this is the second variable and whatever we are doing here like we are uh, creating a loop here for each item okay so we will here also we will be creating a loop and putting that data into the a data okay now a data is getting filtered by again with this item this item is nothing but s a s h whatever the filter criteria we are putting now that will be coming here and that will be filtering the data and whatever the response be getting we are returning the response as it is okay so i think this was the all it was not the too much complicated thing but yes if you know the functionality if you know the steps it gets easier but if you don't know so, so you see here currently i'm doing from the link you side filtering but you can comment this and you can do the filtering from the jquery side also and we also have a other uh, controls here in the auto complete here okay yes we can put them more things also okay see we have a multiple extension method here okay so we can add a more functionality here so if you need uh, more things so just let me know i will be showing you or give you the more features what you can add in the auto complete but for just completing like creating the auto complete control so this is the, i think enough for you for implementing the auto complete okay and uh, here i used the hard coded values but if you want to use any service if you want to use any stored procedure so you can create like make the database call you can make the service call and get the data and you can return the data as a json here and you can bind that data as it is with the control and the same data will get displayed as an auto complete lib auto in auto complete container okay so i think it's working so properly a and c you see ranchi is coming removing so the controller is if we wanted to put the noida and o i okay if you want to complete the similar okay so it is i think working properly if you select here gujarat is coming so this way like if you want if you you can add one more metal means you can add more features yes like whatever the focus i'm doing you see the default focus is coming so you can enhance it with the highlighting other uh, focus mechanism you can make this container more uh, beautiful and pretty you can change this uh, context or width or height okay so that is styling you can do that in this controller so what you need to do if you see here na, in a function here you see uh, ui auto complete class is here okay ui auto complete so using this class 
like dot ui complete and whatever the features whatever the uh, styling you will be adding that styling will get reflected inside the container okay so that the changes you can do but if you face any issue or challenges so you can just comment me or like ping me i will be definitely helping you out on that if you need a good looking container so you can just tell me i will definitely creating you one more video for like styling the container so you can make it more beautiful and more uh, pretty okay so i think that is all for this video thank you so much for the watching see you on the next video thank you so much have a good day